You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition spoilers for the week of April 29th through May 3rd. We're getting closer to the wedding. We've got Nina stuff, Sunny stuff, Drew stuff. We have got so much Carly, John Cates, new people coming in. Very excited to share all this with you. If you have not, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And as I always do with the early weekly spoilers, I'm going to tell you what's happening the rest of this week for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just to kind of get you ramped up and give you some context for the spoilers for next week. So Wednesday, April 24th, we have Dex at the bachelor party shindig for Detective Chase. There's a lot of cops there. Um, A lot of them are giving him a hard time at the axe throwing event. And basically Dante is telling him to buck up because if you come on the force, you are going to deal with having to prove yourself because of your dubious past. And so Dex is really questioning if he should go through with it. A lot of people think he has a death wish because of the whole sunny thing. He might have a hard time finding a partner willing to (laughs) be with him because he is going to be a target of the mob. Chase and Finn come home from from the bachelor party and Violet is very upset because her granddad is having some kind of crisis and she tells them to come and help out and she's very scared. Drew Kane spends some time hanging out with Jordan Ashford. They've already been hanging out a little at the bachelor party so I guess this hangs over after it. That's great. I enjoy their chemistry and their vibe but I still think he's probably going to keep shagging Nina like some dirty dirty secret. Sam McCall is very worried about Danny Morgan on Wednesday. That's because Danny thinks his dad is just the best thing since sliced bread and he wants to be around him. And she thinks that Jason is a bad influence and a danger. And, you know, she's not entirely wrong. Jason is trying to look like a law-abiding citizen, but he's still under the FBI's thumb, but not many people know about that. Meanwhile, Jocelyn goes to see Jason Morgan and she's going to tell him about the nasty showdown that she had with Christina at the bachelorette party. I think she's going to mention that she blabbed about Dex trying to kill Cyrus on Sonny's orders and not a good look since she's trying to keep Dex alive. Blabbing that business around town is not a good idea. And just a side note, I was super happy on Tuesday's episode to see Wally Kurth back as Ned Quartermain at Chase's stag do. I was so worried he wasn't going to be around to give B cue away. I didn't know if he was too busy over at Days of Our Lives to come work, but I was so happy to see him. That made me just really, really excited. Thursday, April 25th, we've got Trina spending some time with Mayor Laura Collins, and she's helping her out with baby Ace Cassidyne. A lot of you guys have asked when Spencer's coming back, and will it be Nicholas Chavez? We just don't know yet. I mean, I want Nicholas Chavez back, but honestly, I think he's probably outgrown the soap already. We'll see. We may be looking at a recast. Jason goes over to confront Sonny after his conversation with Jocelyn. I wonder if he's going to try and talk sense to him about Dex and about other issues, like the way he ripped Carly a new one. We'll see. Drew and Carly have kind of a an awkward run-in that's bittersweet. Very interesting. TJ worries about what Christina has been doing since she is carrying his child in her belly and he doesn't really trust her. Meanwhile, Christina is very worried about her dad, Sonny, and well, she should be. Friday, April 26, we've got Sasha getting a surprising proposition. Excited to see that. Laura talks to Sonny and she tells him she cannot and will not forgive him. And I'm assuming that is for beating her brother nearly to death. Her brother who put her daughter in a coma where she remains today. So I don't really understand Laura's sympathy or empathy for Cyrus based on Lulu's continuing comatose state completely caused by Cyrus. Finn and his dad Gregory have a disagreement next week and or this Friday rather. So I'm sure this is more about his ALS symptoms and not wanting to share his prognosis and progress 
stress with his kids. Nina goes to Carly to talk to her about her concerns. Clearly, this is about Sonny, and I'm guessing it's got to be about Ava. Nina signed those divorce papers and said Ava could have him, but that doesn't mean she's going to make it easy, and I think she may try to sit Carly on Ava. I don't know how much oxygen Carly is going to give her, though. We'll see. Molly wants help from Alexis Davis on Friday. The last time Molly came to her for help, Alexis told her to kick rocks because she wanted to know who was leaking information about the DA's office. And Alexis said, I'm a journalist. I'm not going to help you. All right. Now let's talk about the week of April 29th through May 3rd, which is the first full week of May sweeps. Gregory's ALS symptoms will continue to intensify. He's trying to hide it. He doesn't want to mess up his son's wedding. He's supposed to officiate, but the way things are going, that doesn't look very likely. But we did hear Lois talking to Finn about making sure there is a backup officiant, which was Gregory's idea, just in case. And it looks like they may actually need that person. We'll see. Molly's conversation with Alexis may carry over to Monday. And I'm just wondering if she might tell her that the DA's office is gunning for Sonny and ask her for some advice. And if Molly does tell Alexis about what the police chief, what Anna said about prosecuting Sonny and wanting her to handle the case, I just wonder if Alexis would give Sonny's lawyer, Diane, a heads up. I mean, that would be kind of sketchy, but, you know, Alexis is his longtime lawyer or was for many years as well. Carly absolutely despises Nina. We know that. But I do think she will take Nina's concerns about Ava and Sonny to Jason for them to discuss, address, possibly deal with. Jason, of course, is busy working on protecting Sonny from himself and also Carly from Jagger. I do wonder if Carly's going to use that phone number that John Cates gave her. I expect some more sizzle. He's a cutie patootie. I had to get past him not looking like old Jagger, but now I'm used to him and I just think he's adorable. He's tall. He's blonde. Those blue eyes. Yow. Meanwhile, Sonny's mental spiral has him looking more and more to Ava, especially after Lara chews him out again and the big nasty showdown with Carly and Jason this week. Brooklyn Quartermain and Chase's wedding events continue to ramp up, but the big day will not come until starting on Monday, May 13th. That's when we're going to see her granddad, Carmine Cirillo, there for her big day. George Russo is playing the part. Ellen Travolta is back as Gloria Cirillo, and there's going to be a couple of Bensonhurst cousins as well. I do expect Sonny may bring Ava to the wedding as his plus one, which will upset many, many people. Those are all of the early spoilers I have. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Come back soon. We are here talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, I'm Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 